The G-Wolves Skull SKS Ace Edition gaming mouse is the mini version of the G-Wolves Skull. This mouse is an overall solid choice on its own, but gamers had for months requested a mini version, and this is how we've gotten this one today. So the first thing you'll notice when unboxing your mouse is that it's, you know, it's packaging. g Wheels definitely went the extra mile by providing a tin case, really nice mouse grips, an extra set of mouse feet, alternative switches, and an extra detachable cable and a cleaning brush. It even comes with a scent package, you know, you know, packets inside the box so that the mouse smells like brand new, which obviously it is because it is brand new, but they take it the extra mile from any other company that does that. And it's, it smells really nice, like flowers almost. Uh, you definitely get what you pay for when you invest in, you know, a good quality item. And g make sure, you know, make sure that you don't have to break the bank to have some of your own. The red version of the g Skull SKS Ace Edition costs $59.99, while the white one, which is the one we're looking at currently, as you can see, is $10 more expensive, being priced at $69.99. By far, their package has to be the best one I've ever experienced in my time reviewing game, you know, gaming items and setups, and that's saying a lot on g -Bulls. But what's up with the mouse overall feel and shape? The box is nice, but at the end of the day, we all gamers want, you know, is a mouse that works and feels great. Its design looks premium quality at a first glance. This beautiful white color on top and a black on the bottom and sides with a matte finish does make it feel like a quality product. As for its, you know, measurements and weight, the mouse is 116 millimeters long, 58 millimeters front, 62 millimeters rear, 58 millimeters at the grip, and a 39 millimeter height. Compared to other smaller mice, given the fact that this is a smaller version, it's a pretty standard miniature version size. Nothing too big and nothing too small either. It's also very lightweight, which is a blessing in disguise for seasoned gamers. We all want a lightweight mouse for faster movement while we're playing. One of the worst feelings when playing a game is finding that you lost a kill or got killed you know, yourself just because you know, of slow mouse movement. The mouse itself has a wonderful ergonomic shape and it's a, you know, similar to the EC2, only that it's smaller. It feels great in the hand and this one would be aimed mostly towards gamers with a medium to small hands, especially those that uh, use a fingertip or claw grip. As for the build, it's a solid and has no rattling inside the mouse whatsoever. There are no flex creaks or any weird design errors when it's you know pushed into the body. I'd rate it very highly for a gaming mouse in its overall design and shape. Few can match you know the ergonomic shape comfortable grip and lightweight of the Skull SKS Ace Edition. Now let's talk about its performance. I know that's you know what everyone is mostly concerned about. The mouse has you know seven total buttons, one and two for the you know total of the triggers, a scroll wheel, two side buttons, and underneath the mouse we have two buttons. One is used for changing the DPI button, which can go up to uh, 16,000 DPI, and the other one is changing your pulling rate. Triggers one and two use Armoron switches, which can reach up to 20 million clicks, no pre-travel, but some you know slight post-travel if you know click all the way down. While you know this might seem concerning for some, trust me, that is nothing to worry about at all. It still feels really great. The extra pink switches that it comes with are TTC switches in case you wanted a different feel. The side buttons have a very nice feel tone. These, you know, these ones have no pre-travel or post-travel. They do not go into the body when pushed in all the way. So they did a nice job there. The squirrel wheel also has, you know, some good resistance to it. You're able to feel each, you know, step when scrolling, which feels really nicely and high quality too. It also, you know, allows you for you know, more precise scrolling if you're searching the web or, you know, actually just playing a game. Seriously, you know, that's probably one of the most underrated, you know, features of it. As for the sound, why don't we go ahead and test it out for ourselves right now?
As for the sensor, the Skull SKS Ace Edition uses a PixArt 3389 sensor. This is a great one and has performed splendidly in every game I've played with no major issues. I haven't experienced any you know, spin outs and so on. It's been great so far. I was able to flick quick and track pretty well with it too, though it did take some time for me to get used to it due to its smaller size. I know the size itself can be a little bit you know, concerning for some, but you get used to it you know, in no time basically. On top of that, its performance is top notch. The cable on this mouse is a bit stiffer than normal, you know, being very similar to the Speedflex cable from Razer in my opinion. That's one of the few cons I've experienced with this mouse. If it's if it also you know, came with an option for a more flexible cable like the Cooler Master MM710, which is my favorite, that would be really good. You can also connect and disconnect the cable since it uses a micro USB cable. I'd rather see a USB-C, but still not a major deal breaker. Uh, a micro could have been good to keep the price down though, nothing too concerning either. And on the flip side, if G-Wolves or other companies come out with paracords on different colors, it's gonna be much easier to swap it out instead of taking the mouse apart, you know, piece by piece, and then wrecking, you know, things, you know, completely on accident, especially if you're just a beginner. The feet underneath the mouse is white PTFE. I've used the uh, Fnatic Dash mouse pad, which if you're wondering, I've also previously, you know, reviewed it here on this channel and it glides really well on it. That's a killer combination for any gamer. So if you're interested on the Fnatic Dash mouse pad, make sure to check out my video on it. I'll post a link up above somewhere. The software is very simple. As I mentioned in the beginning, there's nothing much available in the customization department. The mouse does come with some presets, but if you want to you know, make other changes, you can do them on the mouse itself. You will need the software to do that. So what's the summary and overall verdict of the mouse? Well, overall, it's a fantastic and solid choice with a great build, premium design, and many extra accessories. Even the unboxing itself is an experience all of its own courtesy of g -Wills. The switches and the performance of each button is top notch as always. However, nothing is perfect in life and it does have a few minor but still present disadvantages. The only thing I would see as a, you know, a con is that this mouse might only target certain gamers due to the, you know, to its ergonomic design because if you use a fingertip, the side of the mouse where it curves out, puts your hand on the mouse in an awkward angle. If you have a relaxed claw grip, then it feels fantastic. But if you're, you know, you are a fingertip user, then in other, you know, other mouse out there like the G Wolves, you know, Hottie S, I think which they might be releasing or they did release might be a better option for you if you're a fingertip user. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to hit that like button. Also consider hitting that subscribe button because it does help out the channel and it'll be very appreciated. Again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure to hit me up down below in the comment section and I'll do my best on getting back to you. Again, my name is Brody and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.